Hello, my name is Keenan Rennie. This week's theme for our Advent Reflections is for us, light. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, God of love, your Son, Jesus, is your greatest gift to us. He is the Son of your love. Help us walk in that love during the weeks of Advent as we wait and prepare for his coming. We pray in the name of Jesus, our Savior. Amen. John chapter 9, verses 1 to 16. As Jesus was walking along, he saw a man who had been born blind. His disciples asked him, Rabbi, who sin caused him to be born blind? Was it his own or his parents' sin? Jesus answered, his blindness has nothing to do with his sin or his parents' sin. He is blind so that God's power might be seen at work in him. As long as it is day, he must keep on doing the work of him who has sent me. Night is coming, when no one can work. While I am in the world, I am the light of the world. After he said this, Jesus spat on the ground and made some mud with the spit. He rubbed the mud on the man's eyes and said, Go and wash your face in the pool of Siloam. So the man went, washed his face, and came back seeing. His neighbors then, and the people who had seen him begging before this, asked, Isn't this the man who used to sit and beg? Some said, He is the one. But others said, No, he isn't. He just looks like him. So the man himself said, I am the man. How is it that you can now see? They asked him. He answered, The man called Jesus made some mud, rubbed it on my eyes, and told me to go to Siloam and wash my face. So I went, and as soon as I washed, I could see. Where is he? They asked. I do not know, he answered. Then they took to the Pharisees, the man who once went blind. The day that Jesus had made the mud and cured him of his blindness was the Sabbath. The Pharisees then asked the man again how he had received his sight. He told them, He put some mud on my eyes. I washed my face, and now I can see. Gracious and loving God, as we learn from our reading, we are reminded of your boundless mercy and guiding lights in our lives. Just as you healed the blind man, Open our eyes to see your truth and light. Help us to embrace that Jesus is the light of the world, guiding us through the darkness. May we, like the blind man, boldly testify to your amazing works in our lives. As we journey forward, let your love and truth shine brightly through us. In Jesus' name, Amen. Let us pray now for one another and for peace in our world. Dear Heavenly Father, this Advent season, we especially are in need of peace. War rages on in our world. It impacts the daily lives of millions in different ways. This year, as much as ever, we need Jesus, Prince of Peace, in our world and in our hearts. During Advent in 2023, we pray that Jesus transforms our world as we await his coming again. Amen. Thank you for joining us for today. Goodbye.